Hey, this is Tammy coming to you live at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center, Rosemont, Illinois, for the Progressive International Motorcycle Show. And I'm all excited because there's a lot of great bikes, there's a lot of great things to see, and you guys got to come out because it's a great venue. So we'll see you soon. to be here at the IMS. I just want to introduce you to some of my volunteers. This is my husband, Jerry. Here I have Jeannie. <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie and Gideon. And Larry, Jeannie's husband. They're wonderful volunteers. And we're here to share of ovarian cancer awareness and ways funds for women battling ovarian cancer with financial difficulties. If you'd like to support us, please go to our website at rideforhopeil.org. Thank you. Well, I am here with Julie Ann Scully. She's the president of the Ride for Hope organization, and she's going to tell us about her organization. And um, I know that she's a cancer survivor. This is a very touchy subject, and I was drawn to her booth because obviously everyone knows someone with cancer. So can you please share us about your organization, please? Absolutely. Thank you for interviewing us, too. It's my husband, Jerry. We started Ride for Hope Ovarian Cancer Awareness five years ago. What we do is we spread awareness about the signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer to help women understand, because there are no tests. There's nothing you can do. So we started this to raise money to help women who are battling ovarian cancer and that have financial difficulties to help them through their journey. Uh, we also contribute to the NOCC, which is the National Ovarian Cancer Coalition. I am a board member on the NOCC, and we support their um, Faces of Hope totes, which is a program that gives every um, newly diagnosed woman a tote and information, a, a, a blanket, and stuff for the caretaker, too, because they're important, too. So we, we help give to that and support that, as well as we have this ride on July 28th, and we encourage everyone to come support us. If you don't ride, come to the party. It's at Drink in Schomburg. It's going to be a great day. We're going to raise awareness, raise money, and pay it all forward. Thank you. And there's nothing like having somebody who's actually a cancer survivor to share this information because, you know, wow, that's amazing. There's so many people who uh, need a little bit of encouragement for hope, and here that's exactly what you're representing. We thank you so much. Thank and you. And obviously having the support of your husband makes it even better. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.
I'm standing here with Gina Wood. She's the president of Open Road Radio. Gina, we've seen you a lot at the IMS show with the HER Project, and you're here for the Open Road. Maybe you could share about what you do. Thanks so much, and great to see you guys. It has been. It's been years that we get to come back and see each other. Probably only once a year, but it's great to see you guys, and I'm glad that you're doing so much in motorcycling and coverage for that. So, um, Open Road Radio is celebrating its 22nd year right now. Yeah, and uh, we are on WCGO 1590 AM every Saturday morning at 11 AM till noon, and also on Facebook Live Open Road Radio. So make sure you go and like the page. And we are out here, uh, compliments of QP and Abraham, our sponsors, and Max Golden Fest and we have just had a tremendous week. You know, it's old homeschool week. People come out here for cabin fever. They come out here to see the new products, the debuting of the manufacturers on their bikes. So it's just a great show. And this year, it's been slammed. So it's been really exciting. So um, with our HER project, you know, we used to do the bike builds here. Right, that's what I was going to ask you about. I appreciate what you guys were doing for all the vets and everything. Amazing. Yeah, we really had a great time with that. We are actually in talks right now with the Women Veterans Association and um, we may have something coming up in April so we'll making a, a big announcement very soon. It is so important. I know you're always doing stuff in the community. I, I see you a lot at, you know, at the IMS and every time you're out here you just got a wonderful attitude. You're always trying to help people and we appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you so much. You know what? This is the passion so many of these people have, and it's great to see the new riders. They've got a great uh, program over there that they're doing that I'm sure you guys have been over to or will. And um, it's just great. You know, people come out here. They've got cabin fever. They're out here today celebrating motorcycling, and that's, that's awesome. Definitely. And I know in past programs we've seen you actually build a bike. I was so amazed. I'm like, wow, I wish I could do that. So you're such an inspiration to those who are just trying to get the feel for doing stuff, you know, with the bikes and all that. So Thank incredible. You. Thank you so much. And you know, it really is because when you see women on a stage building, it really inspires other women that they can do it. If we can do it, anybody can do it. So it, it's really a, a phenomenal uh, to, to, to see people's reaction to that. Um, and, and if it teaches people, that's great. Well, you, you definitely inspired me, and thanks a lot for inspiring uh, thank everyone else. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to see you guys all the time. You too. motorcycle show obviously it takes a lot of time to build these bikes and you can see there's a lot of work involved in building a bike like this it's not something that happens in a day it takes a lot of time a lot of preparation and a lot of dedication to get a bike to look like this 
and a lot of the other bikes. So you got to appreciate all the work that's involved, and we're happy to be here to appreciate that. I'm standing here with Cooch and everyone who's helping out for the Chicagoland Toys for Tats Motorcycle Parade. And it's going to be, I can't believe, the 42nd annual, correct? Coming up is the 42nd annual, yep. Wow, so we've known you guys for such a long time, and you're always doing a great job in the community, trying to help the kids out. So uh, you've got a lot of people here. Tell us about the people who are involved and what you have going on for the 42nd year. Well, we want to thank you. You've been coming here forever. You know the ride's always the first Sunday in December. So I'm going to introduce you to Scott, who's our amazing product coordinator for this year, and he's going to tell you the team here is trying to sell our product today. Hello, uh, this is Debbie, Michelle, and Roy. They're all out here today. If you stop out today, we're actually selling $5 off of our uh, product t-shirts. And then we have a coupon that you can go ahead and you get a discounted free shipping online. So tell more about the online store, because I know a lot of people don't know that we have this online store. How can they get access? What are the, what do they have to, is it www.chicagolandtft? Where do they get the online information at? Yes, it's www.chicagolandtft.org and you go down to the product page and we have all of our products there, our old products that we have left. Uh, summer product is on there. You name anything that you want to buy from us, it's on there. And right now, we're like I said, we're offering free shipping if you get the promo code from down here at the show. And how long, how long is the online store open till? Well, how many more months are you going to have that open? The online store is open all the time. It never closes. Fantastic. It will always be open. So all year round, if anybody wants something from Toys for Tots, an old shirt, a new shirt, just check it out on the online store. Yep, as long as we have it, it's online. Okay, now where else are you going to be coming up in the future? I know you're going to be at some other events this summer. Where are you going to be at? We're going to be at World of Wheels here in March, uh, 8th to the 10th. Motoblot, June 22nd, 23rd. And then we have our kickoff party where our new product will come out, which is September 21st at the VFW Hall, 5858 South Archer Avenue in Chicago. Well, Scott, you've done a great job, and our former product person over there, he did a great job. So all you people know how to sell the Toys for Tots stuff. And, you know, again, they, they all do good stuff for raising money to help out needy children at Christmas time. Yes, that's what it's about. Every child kid. deserves a toy. How long have you been a member now? Years. 30 years? Wow. 30 yes. years. 16. 16, 16 years for you. I'm a new member, so I just... Well, hey, we're member. happy to have you here. So as, as you know, it takes a lot of people to make something as successful as this. It's not a one-man job. There's a lot of people that are involved, a lot of people that do not get recognized, and we want to thank them because if it wasn't for them, you guys would not be as successful as you are today, correct? correct. And we want to thank you for stopping by. You've been supporting us for how many years now? I mean, I remember when your kids were this big, and now they should be taking over. I had to take that iPod away from them so I could see the motorcycle yeah, people. You're right, you're right about that, definitely. We've, we've known you guys since the kids were wee high. Now they're like way high. Yeah. We have to look up to them, but guess what? We're still the parents trying to keep them in line and let them know about what's really happening out there, trying to help people in the community to do something good. Yes. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank right, thanks you. a lot. We hope well, to see you guys out again. God for bless the you. And don't forget, go to our website. It's very easy, chicagolandtft.org, and it's, it'll pop up right away. We've been doing this for 42 years, and we love helping children at Christmas time. Yep. Thank you so much, you guys. We appreciate all your help. Thank you. Thank you. TNT. Well, we're here in front of this awesome-looking bike. This is my personal favorite here. I mean, it's the perfect colors, so shiny, just perfect. Very nice. Well, this is unique because it's an old school looking Harley Davidson. It's got the sidecar. It's pretty cool. Uh, it, it would be awesome to take our gear and have all of it go on a sidecar with us. It would be pretty fun, wouldn't it, be, to drive this down the road? It's pretty fun, and it's exciting to see uh, beautiful old school bikes.
here with Brian, Laura, and Anna, and they are representing the Illinois Motorcycle Freedom Run, and I cannot believe it. We've known you guys for so many years. It's the 17th annual already? Yes, 17th annual uh, Illinois Motorcycle Freedom Run that um, helps the Middle East Conflicts Wall Memorial out in Marseilles, Illinois. And every year you are here representing and um, trying to bring awareness to help other people to know that uh, this is a great organization. Tell other people out there how they can get involved and tell us a little bit more about your organization so they know what it's about. Okay, we uh, started this in order to help the Gold Star families remember their children so they do not feel like they have been forgotten. This is mostly for the living, a memorial for the past. And it goes all the way from, it's changed now. It used to be the Beirut Barracks, but now it's a little farther until now. It's the only living memorial that is not sponsored by the, any federal money whatsoever. It's all from the motorcycle community and corporate donations. And you're, you're holding up the flyer. Can you share a little bit, too, uh, how you're involved with the Illinois uh, motorcycle Okay, so I'm Anna. I'm the um, middle, the Marcel's coordinator with the Illinois Motorcycle Freedom Run. And basically the poster that I'm holding up is our run that we do every third Saturday. This is our 17th. We've been doing it for, this will be our 17th year. We fly the Gold Stars in, like Laura said. We get them all together. The Shriners head our run and ride them in the start of our run. We go from Grundy County through beautiful urban Illinois to Marcel's Illinois. Uh, we do a ceremony. We read off the names of our men and women that we have lost in the year following. Um, we need you guys to come out. The bikes that show up at Grundy County that day are the bikes that reach in their pockets, and they are the ones that put each letter on this wall. You guys are the ones that keep us going, and we need you, we need you to come back to the Freedom Run. So we hope we see you out there. This year it will be Saturday, June 15th. Lineup starts at Grundy County Fairgrounds at 6 a.m. So, Brian, thank you so very much for having us uh, be part of uh, this event uh, by sharing the information with other we people. Thank you for coming out every year and helping us do this. You know, it, Without getting the support from great people like you that take care of all of us, it makes our jobs easier. So thank you very much for your support. We appreciate it. Thank you. Greater love than this has no man than to lay down his life for his friends.
Well, there's a lot of bikes here, and they all have a lot of detail, and this one's kind of interesting in the detailing that this one has. It's really shiny. The chrome is, is just incredible. The color's really nice. It reflects really nice with the lights, and I'm happy to be standing next to it. I'm here at the International Motorcycle Show next to a really beautiful bike. And if you come here, you could see all the wonderful bikes that are here. This one is just one of the many bikes that are here. Well, look how cool this is. Look at all the different colors. The paint job is incredible. I'm drawn to it because it's just something that's unique. Well, I'm standing here with Greg and Judy who are here for the Tribute to the Troops organization for Illinois. And Greg, tell us, what is your position for the Tribute to the Troops? Uh, I'm vice chair with uh, Tribute to the Troops Illinois. And, um, well, I help basically with the organization. What we do as Tribute to the Troops, we go to the uh, families of the fallen, we make arrangements with them, and we actually do family visits. And then our mission is to never forget the fallen, and our second mission is to raise money for um, 529 scholarships for the children of the fallen. And to date, Tribute to the Troops National has given away about 300 scholarships, and last year, Tribute to the Troops Illinois, we gave away nine scholarships. So. And Judy, you have a very uh, sentimental uh, position here. Please right. tell us what, what your uh, position is here. Um, I am a Gold Star mother, and my position here is to visit or make the arrangements to visit families of the fallen. So I'm the Gold Star family liaison. So I'll make the contacts with them, tell them about our ride, ask permission if we can visit their families to remember that their loved ones will never be forgotten. You know, and I have to give you a lot of uh, congratulations on that. It's just like the hardest thing to do, and you're doing it, and you're trying to help the people out there. Right. And you're 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 doing something to just let people know that they're loved, they're appreciated, right. and they're not alone. They're not alone. Correct. I was a recipient of a visit from Tribute to the Troops in 2011, and they have changed my life completely. You know, so if I can just help another family get through this difficult time, then that's what my whole purpose in life is. We really appreciate everything that you guys are doing, and I know you have a lot of uh, different things that are coming up. Can you just share about some of the different things that are coming up this year? Okay, we do a May ride. What we're going to do is visit families on the Illinois-Indiana border, and then we have our June ride, which is June um, 8th and 9th. We're going to be visiting families in the Rockford area this year. So we would love to have people come out. Uh, they can go to our website, Tribute to the Troops Illinois, or our Facebook page, once again, Tribute to the Troops Illinois, and there will be information posted about that on, on those two sites. Well, thank you very much. We really appreciate everything you're doing. Thanks for stopping by the Motoblot booth today, TNT. I want to introduce you to Larry Fletcher, who's the founder of Motoblot. Larry Fletcher, tell us what your organization does. Motoblot is an urban motorcycle and hot rod street rally in Chicago uh, in 2019. This summer it's going to be June uh, 20th to the 23rd, and it's on Ashland Avenue at Fulton, uh, right in front of the Cobra Lounge. And uh, if you need a lot of information, more information, go to motoblot.com. That's M-O-T-O-B-L-O-T.com.
And this is a Chicago urban motorcycle happening that a lot of people don't know about. And it's music, rat rods, motorcycles. And last year, everybody knows Bill Wilt. He became our first inductee into the Motoblot Hall of Fame, and we helped him. This year, we're going to try to help some other benefits that Larry's involved with on the day of our inductions for this year. Tell us about those benefits. Uh, well, every year we work with a, a company called Pits for Patriots, and Pits for Patriots is a, a pit bull rescue company that uh, rescues pit bulls, and then they, they team them up with returning veterans that have, uh, you know, that have some... PTSD. PTSD, right, issues. So we love working with Pits for Patriots because it's two great causes that go come together to do a really good thing. We also uh, work with the Breast Cancer Foundation. We raise money for breast cancer research. And uh, and then every year when we do the Hall of Fame induction, then we also work with some charities that are also close to the hearts of the inductees. Right, so this year our inductees are going to be Expert Cycle out of Hobart, Indiana. T.C. Christensen, the world-famous hog slayer, and Buzz Walneck, the fantastic poster guy that's been doing swap meets forever. Right, yeah, those are three legends in the Chicagoland area. You know, Bob Goodpasture and his dad, John Goodpasture, <clears throat> have had uh, expert motorcycle works for, you know, 40, 50 1950s. years. Yeah, 1950s. So, and uh, they're close to my heart. They're good friends of mine. And then, obviously, Buzz Walneck. Everybody knows Buzz from the swap meets. Um, he's a, a local legend. Uh, to a certain extent, uh, for sure. And then also T.C. Christensen Hog Slayer, you know, from southern Wisconsin. So T.C.'s a, uh, a good friend of ours, and the Hog Slayer is kind of legendary from the 70s and 80s, and Sunset Motors in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Right, so if anybody wants to go to a huge happening in Chicago, now it's the week actually after the Freedom Run. So if you go to the Freedom Run, the following weekend, it's a two-and-a-half-day event off of Fulton and Ashton. It's a really cool thing going on in Chicago, and there's not a lot of things going on in Chicago with bikers and cars and music. The music is fantastic. Tell us about the music for this year. Yeah, uh, every year we have uh, two stages, uh, 30 bands. We bring in regional and national acts, and it's uh, American uh, roots music, psychobilly, rockabilly, that type of thing, but every year the music is a big element. Uh, like I said, we have two stages at each end of the event, and uh, and again, it's uh, if you go to motoblot.com, you can find out all about all the bands that are playing this year. So, if you haven't been to this happening, how many years now we've been doing this, or you've been doing this? This is going to be the sixth year for Motoblot. We started in 2014, so this will be our sixth year this year. The six, six years for Motoblot, but before that, you used to have uh, mods and rockers, and that's how it got started. Tell us about, a lot of people don't know what a mod and a rocker is. Well, Mods vs. Rockers was an event that started in 2005 uh, and went for about 10 years, and we did on North Lincoln Avenue. And the Mods and Rockers event was kind of about youth culture of 60s England. The mods were the, the motorcycle riding, or, or, or the scooter riding mods, and then the, uh, the, the Triumph Norton riding rockers uh, kind of clashed in England in the 60s, and that event was kind of a, a send-up to that culture. But uh, back in 2013, we rebranded to Motoblot to be more of an inclusive event to all kinds of motorcycles and hot rides. That's why we're by auto vintage groups, BSAs, Triumphs, Nortons, Vincettes. That's what it's all about, mods and rockers, hot rods and music. You can't beat it. So, again, when is that? Uh, what's the actual dates again? June 20th to 23rd, 2019. Um, and like I said, at the corner of Ashland and Fulton. And uh, check out motoblot.com for all the details. There it is. For more information, it's all right there. TNT, God bless you, and thank you for helping us. Thank you.
guys, this is Batman here. I'm at the 2019 Ultimate Builder Contest with Worldwind Media. It's a great show this year. A lot of participants out here. For the Ultimate Builder Contest, you have over 90 bikes participating. I brought out the 71 Volkswagen Super Beetle. A lot of people have seen this bike. Bike has hauled over 125 toys for the Toys for Tots. We also do the Toys in the Hood and the South Suburban Toy Drive. I love this bike and one of the things I do with this bike to bring attention uh, to different things since you have so many people taking pictures of it is we also promote awareness for juvenile diabetes also so that affects a lot of people so we hope just awareness of knowing about juvenile diabetes talking about it and not being a secret to help people understand and embrace it more so i love the people i meet here and they show me their insulin pump and tell me their stories about diabetes and things so the volkswagen it's a fun bike you actually ride right here in the middle and so since you ride in the middle, there's four cameras on it. There's a monitor in the front, and you need cameras to see off the sides and the back also. It seats three people in the back. Or well, if you like a Volkswagen Challenge, you could probably fit 10 people back there. I think I've rode five people back there holding on tight with their seat belts and things. In the back, I have the original Volkswagen engine in here, 1600 cc. And you have to have a great helper when you're getting work done. It is a Volkswagen and it will break down. So Robin's always keeping the bike running and keeping it tightened up and keeping extra oil in there too. The front end is a 77 Kawasaki. It's got disc brakes and that helps put the stopping power on it. And the front end here, I love the Harley fairing, but it fell off a few times, but it's a Volkswagen, who cares? It's all about having fun. My motto is, it's not the bike, it's the rider. So if you enjoy what you ride, build it and have fun with it. And tell the kids, don't buy anything brand new. Take whatever you have in the garage, in the basement, pull it out, put a little paint on it. My kids painted this. My daughter did these seats from Joanne Fabrics. The kids kept getting in, so we wrapped it in plastic like your grandmother used to do with our furniture. And now they can slide in and slide right back out there. So key thing is, have fun with what you do and come down, enjoy this show. It's a fantastic show and thanks a lot. Ultimate Builder Contest, Batman here, signing out.
Hi, my name is Lee McAndrew, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about my Vietnam Veteran Tribute Bike. I've been working on this bike now for about 15 years. Uh, change it out just about every year with something new. Uh, I'm going to point out some highlights. This gas tank right here, what you see on here is the war dogs of Vietnam. 8,000 dogs served in Vietnam, none came back. Down here, this helicopter, this Huey, it's a personal friend of mine, he's a door gunner on, on the on the Huey, served in Vietnam, Purple Heart recipient, and I did that in, in tribute for him. The back of the lid over here is a complete mural tribute to, to all, the, all those who served in Vietnam. The American Eagle, the, the silhouette of Vietnam, North Vietnam, and then the American flag. And I've tried to bring out different highlights of the bike, such as uh, as, as the leather work that's, that you see on the back. Well, down here on the bottom, the POW MIAs, they actually light up. They're my brake lights. On this side, those two ships are the ships I served on in Vietnam. The USS England on the right and the USS Bradley on the left. This is my most recent tribute right here. That is the shadow effect of the of the civilian now leaning against the wall with the with the ghost images of his, of his brothers uh, on the Vietnam Wall with the background of Arlington Cemetery coming in. The gas tank on this side. This features the tribute to the nurses of Vietnam. Many people don't remember. Or they, they forget what they've done, but they were very important in their, what they fulfilled for their duties. And on the front fairing, I've tried to capture all elements of the, of the military service. The Navy, being a Navy vet, the Navy always starts out fresh, followed by the, the Air Force, the Marines, and the Army, and the, the Coast Guard. So pretty much what you see on this bike has been a work of uh, tribute and a work of love for the last uh, 10, 12, 15 years or so. Well, one thing we really like about the IMS show is there's a lot of patriotic bikes and there's a lot of focus on trying to help the veterans, and we really appreciate that. There's a lot of organizations, and they, uh, they have a, a theme to just help the vets and do something in the community, and we really appreciate it, and we're glad to be here. I lost my brother Frank in the Battle of Iwo Jima. He served on four combat tours in Vietnam, in Iraq, in Afghanistan. There's a life that was lost behind that pin. I put it on for my wife, for my husband, my brother, my dad, my son. We wear it because we honor those that we lost. To learn more about the stories behind the Gold Star Pins, visit goldstarpins.org. Well, as you can see, we're at the motorcycle show today. All, all kinds of motorcycles around here, real nice bikes, just everything. We got, we're got we taking some nice photos of the different bikes, and yeah, you want to say anything, Tony? I hope to see you next year. Great. How are you guys all doing today? Thank you. All right, so this is my dude right here, Kyle Slager. He's one of our ex steel athletes. This dude has competed against the best. He's beat the best. And now... We got him right here, and he's gonna give you guys a quick little stunt show on one of our zero motorcycles. So you guys do me a favor. There's a lot of cameras, a lot of social media going on right now. If you just stand there like this, you're gonna look like an idiot on the internet. Don't look like an idiot on the internet. Be clapping, be cheering. We're at a motorcycle show, we're not at work. Have some fun for me, all right? Can you handle that? Yeah. All right, put your hands down. Make some noise for my boy, yeah. Slider.
Okay, hi, my name is Scott Haas. I'm with the Harper College Motorcycle Safety Program. Our main purpose is to help uh, people learn how to ride motorcycles. We have classes for absolute beginners, for uh, people of intermediate skill level, and also we have advanced rider courses. Something we started new this year, or that we are going to be starting new this year, is uh, classes for three-wheel motorcycles. That would be a uh, trike, conventional trike with one wheel in front, two in back, or like a Can-Am Spider with two in front and one in back. Uh, all of our registration is done online on our website. The uh, website address is www.harpercollege.edu forward slash motorcycle. Harper College is one word. Uh, registration is actually opening up the week of February uh, 18th, if that's tomorrow. Um, and uh, our first classes begin at the end of March. We have classes going on throughout the season uh, pretty much every weekend from the end of March until the beginning of November. We teach at uh, numerous sites throughout Northern Illinois University, or throughout Northern Illinois area, Cook County, Lake County, McHenry County, uh, out in Rockford and beyond there in Freeport. Come and see us, take one of our classes. They are free to Illinois residents. Love to have you. Well, I'm over here at the CMA booth, the Christian Motorcycle Association, and they're always trying to do a great job in the community. There's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of people here that are all equally important. So I'm here with Beth, Beth, Diane, Alicia, Crystal, and Mia, and they're going to share about CMA. So Beth, you can share a little bit about CMA and how many years it's been taking place. Sure. My name is Mama Beth, and I am with the Disciples of God chapter. A little bit about CMA. CMA stands for Christian Motorcyclist Association. We are not an MC. We are a ministry. Um, our goal is to do a lot of different bike blessings. Um, we're here if you need us, any type of situation like that. Um, CMA is uh, 
based off of multiple different chapters throughout the entire world. So our specific chapter is out of Palatine. We are over by the city limits in uh, Palatine over off of Rand. And actually we have an upcoming uh, chili event that we're doing, a chili cook-off and bake sale. Um, everybody can kind of come up. Um, we're more than willing to bless your bike and uh, talk to you, let you know what we do as a chapter within the community. Even we go to different states. So. We're excited for this writing new season. Well, that's great. So uh, you guys all have a, a position with CMA. What is your position? So I'm with one of the chapters out of Wisconsin, the Inspiration Writers chapter. I'm the secretary of that chapter there. So um, yeah, but like like Beth said, we just do a lot of different things, go all over, minister to motorcyclists, wherever we find them, meet you where you're at, and motor minister to you there. And that's important. Diane, what is your position? I'm just a <laughs> I'm just a club member. My husband used to be the president, and that's okay because you're supporting them with prayer, and that's the most important. All right, Alicia, what is your position? Uh, my position is a, um, I'm a club member. I'm a, yeah, well, we're a, yeah, an organization, as she said. Um, most times I sit behind the scenes, support the um, the ministry every way I can. And that's equally important. And how about you, Crystal? Hi, um, I am the secretary for the Disciples of God chapter. So. And it doesn't matter what position you are because you're all supporting CMA, it, uh, and that's the most important. You're here to bless people. You've got product out here. You're, you're, you're just trying to help people, and we appreciate everything you're doing. Try to spread some good light. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of other people that are involved with CMA. Some of them are not in this video clip, but we would like to also thank Everett. We know Everett from, well, gee, when the kids were like, yay high. And we also know a lot of other key people that, you know, we, our, our own families know. We thank everyone for being involved. And we appreciate all of their help. Thank you, ladies. And thank you, Everett, and all the men that make this possible. Thank you for CMA. Thank you. All right, I want to got one for you. It's a good one. It's a trick question. My dad asked me this way back in the 1990s, and that was a good enough question. I wanted to, I, to save it and repeat it and share it. So here's the question. Is this, how many of each animal did Moses bring on the ark before the great floods came and flooded the earth? Did you hear that? It was how many of each animal did Moses bring on the ark before the great floods came and flooded the earth? Now, if you said two, like I did when I first heard that question, you were wrong. I was like, no, that's not, it can't, it's two, male and female, I remember quickly. That's because I wasn't learning enough in God's word and I got tricked. Because the answer, correct answer is zero. It wasn't Moses, it was Noah. So this is why, you know, I was like, wow. So one of these things is we want to learn what God's Word says because in the Psalm we read God's Word, the Bible, constantly because we don't want to be tricked when we are presented with a, a question, especially in, so, in society today. This is why it says in Psalm 119, it says, how may, how may a man keep his way pure? Your word, Lord, have I hidden in my heart. This is, so it's not, it doesn't mean I'm not going to sin, but I, I'm not going to try and sin because I know what God's word says. It's like another one here. True or false question? Money is the root of all evil. True or false? If you said true, again, you're wrong. Because the answer is false. Because the Bible says it's the love of money that's the root of all sorts of and evils. So with that, I pray that you're blessed and I pray that you continue to grow in the word of God. Thank you and have a great day.